Hello guys, happy Tuesday. Hope you all had a good bank holiday weekend. Memorial Day, of course, in the States. Volume was low yesterday, um, and I think that's helped uh, stocks push on. We're currently above the 200-day moving average. You can see here my blue line. Uh, where we close the day, of course, is, is important uh, for that. We could absolutely close below, which is bearish, uh, but we close above, then we could really be looking on to to push towards some of these highs, uh, I would say the next key horizontal level, you're looking at the, the high here from the 6th of March before really 3100 comes in. However, we haven't closed above, um, and if you remember from my videos before, I was just saying we are in a range. However, it does, of course, look like we're, we're looking to break through. The Nasdaq, um, not far away, I believe, I believe from the all-time high. Uh, the next level for me for the Nasdaq would be the, the high that we had on the 21st of Feb before um, really, we're just a day away from, from reaching that all-time high. The Dow also a nice push above its uh, range uh, this morning, so keep a, a watch on that. It's going to be really interesting where we close the day, I have to say, uh, for, for the bulls. Can we close above the 200-day moving average? Uh, if not, then we, you know, last thing the bulls want is us to come back into this range here. I'd be very surprised if we come down any time uh, to, towards that 27.67. Is that the low of the year? You know, what are we in now? May, potentially, potentially in my opinion. Uh, I still think uh, what we're going to see over the, the coming weeks is a, a push like this. And then that just gives the other opportunity to, to get in uh, again. This is how I see it. Uh, back up to these highs here. Price to find some resistance, some China comments come through, come back lower, buy the dip for the election. Uh, and then we, we push on. It's, it's how I see it planning out, of course. Trade what you see, not what you think, and confirmation of, of closes below certain levels would, would suggest otherwise. Uh, let's have a quick look over at gold. It feels something's brewing um, in in gold. It, I, I mentioned on, on the video on the weekend that um, you know I'm, I'm long, and, and I still am, but I won't be if, if we, we get below these, these trend lines here. Just no real interest of, of holding those uh, trades. We're... Supported at the moment using some of these lows here, another trend line to, to be aware of. Um, it, it feels on the risk on it's got to come lower, but with the dovish central banks, it's got to go higher. So just be aware of those trend lines is, is what I would say. And, and to the upside, well, the upside, I don't mind a long above 17.40. I think that's not a bad little trade. You can see resistance, resistance. Can we get a push above that? I think that's worth having a look at. The euro, um, not another, not a good day for, for the bears again. You know, we're, we're a fair whack away from our, our trend line that you got on here. The, the failure again to close the day below uh, the, the low, this level here, basic 109, uh, has proven key. And we're, we're coming back up almost to the, test the top end of that range. So keep a, a watch on that. Risk on helping, uh, of course. The pound, there you go, you know, pushing through and, and uh, we close above here. I am absolutely interested in a uh, long like that. But the close of the day, I can't stress how important that is. Uh, cash open less than, or well, just over an hour away, I should say. Um, we start seeing things drift lower in equities. The pound will come under a bit of pressure, as will uh, the Aussie, which you can see is also pushing on target level for this. Just keep an eye on the high of the 10th. Anyway, guys, hope you had a, a good long weekend and I look forward to catching up with you all very shortly.